Cardiovascular disease is the world's number one killer, claiming more than 18 million lives each year. The World Heart Federation are calling on everyone this World Heart Day to stop and consider how best to use your heart. I'm delighted to be joined by their president, Professor Fausto Pinto. Now, the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal is to reduce premature mortality from cardiovascular diseases and other non-communicable diseases by 33% by 2030. Tell me, what part is the World Heart Federation playing in reducing that? We collaborate with all the sectors uh, somehow related uh, with health issues, from health professionals to patient groups, policymakers, business, and even the civil society. We share knowledge, we share science in an accessible way. And we do this through different ways of communication. We also influence at the level of the United Nations through our special relationship with the World Health Organization, WHO, and also through the development of evidence-based storytelling. In a sentence, equitable health policy means cardiovascular health for everyone. Can you tell me a bit more about your three campaign pillars and in particular, the effects of climate change on heart health? Absolutely. The three main pillars are first, humanity, second, nature, and finally, you, us. Regarding humanity, people in low and middle income countries, they are more likely to have cardiovascular disease. We want to address this imbalance for more equitable healthcare systems everywhere. The second one is nature, the second pillar. And we know that recent heat waves and spikes in air pollution are disastrous for cardiovascular health. To take care of our own health, we must also address the health of our planet. We need to fight for cleaner air and an environment where we can thrive. And finally, you, all of us, taking care of your heart, our heart, means being aware of the major risk factors, monitoring your blood pressure, your stress levels, and making sure that your healthcare system is equipped to support you in this big endeavor. Now, there's a huge gap, isn't there, and inequality of access to care, particularly in low to middle income countries. How are you driving change on a local and a global level? Well, we're doing that in different ways. By spreading awareness through campaigns, such as the World Heart Day, looking at prevention, knowing that prevention is possible, care access is vital, disseminating what we call the roadmaps and other guides on cardiology topics. For instance, they just recently launched the roadmap on digital health and cardiology, and we have an upcoming roadmap on cholesterol. And finally, to support the future generations of cardiology experts through a program already with a few years that we call the Emerging Leaders Program. Your vision is cardiovascular health for everyone everywhere. So how are you inspiring international action to encourage global heart healthy living? By involving real people, telling the stories of patients and practitioners, what we call the World Heart Heroes. Through dialogue and implementation of the roadmaps and roundtables, also briefs, for example, on air pollution, on tobacco, participating in WHO processes for equitable health. And finally, the upcoming World Heart Vision 2030, which is a document that we produced very recently, it details four paths to heart healthy living. One, improving health systems for equity. Two, applying technical knowledge. Three, leveraging technology. And four, tackling climate change impacts on cardiovascular health. And how about research and innovation advancing the cardiology space? What's happening and what are your hopes for the future? In the last few years, many areas have developed substantially with an impact in people's lives, in health and disease. Digital health interventions, for instance, from text messaging platforms, mobile apps, telehealth consultations, wearable devices, research findings and case studies. Rather than sitting on a shelf, they should influence laws and regulations. And finally, to empower patients, facilitate task shifting, education and training in health workforce. Ultimately, ensure healthy hearts because cardiovascular disease is mostly preventable. 80% of cardiovascular conditions can be prevented and we can do much better to reach that in the future. Professor Fausto Pinto, thank you for your time today.